Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Geo channel. In this video, we are going to see how to handle uh, different type of web element uh, with Cypress. In my previous videos, I have shown some uh, web UI test, but just uh, input and button I have handled it. And in this video, we are going to see how to handle radio button, checkbox, and drop down, and uh, some more whatever is available in this form. Okay, so mostly radio button, checkbox, and drop down. How can you handle with Cypress? Uh, maybe uh, this is the sample site which has all different kind of uh, web element you can see it here text box button radio button different radio button date picker and uh, professionals checkbox so all uh, all type of uh, web element is here uh, let's just go to the script I have created one control test.js in this context and ID I have created just go to cy dot visit okay uh, I have to provide this URL I just copied it and pasted it uh, no worries I can give this URL in the description also then cy dot uh, like next action what I have to do uh, maybe uh, simply I will just uh, enter one value in the first name as of now maybe you if you want you can run it and everything so name is equal to first name just copy this control F like I'm just validating uh, the CSS. Yeah, there is only one match as of now. Just copy this and go to code get first name type something like Dharma. Uh, just first name. And now uh, I have to click on uh, radio button. It's okay. I'm just ignoring last name. It's repeated. Uh, I'm just I just want to click on male female something like that so just go to uh, the tool like the element to find the ID ID is there ID is equal to sex hyphen zero and value is equal to male so uh, I will I will just try to use value as of now here okay go to the code cy dot get value dot so here uh, the radio button and checkbox uh, like you can use click also for radio button but uh, there is a separate uh, api so just go to cypress.io in the document you can see uh, api uh, page there you just scroll in the commands there is a method called check so what is this check check value option so what and all you want to send here is the usage for example if you want to use checkbox you just click on check if you want to use for radio button you can use this one okay so I have given directly in the uh, what uh, get I can directly use check or if I am giving a parent element ID okay that also we'll see as of now I'm giving check maybe you can run it if you want to run it once just run it once it's going to the web page and uh, it will enter the name and radio button so only two lines of code I have written so it will do that okay see I think it clicked on mail and it entered the name okay so now we want to uh, just go to the page we just want to go to the parent control of this this are all input okay type is radio first and second so it just take first and second there are a lot of radio button right so it, it's it's clumsy so better to use uh, the exact one whichever you want i i have used a male like female right like that's the better way don't use first and second with the radio one it will then it will create a problem okay similar way for the checkbox also there is a profession okay so I want to go to automation tester just uh, take a CSS cy dot get 
check so I have just checked automation tester and uh, like let let me write uh, for a drop down whatever it is so here is the select continents is the ID for that I will tell you cy dot get given the ID but which method we have to use we should go to the API page and just uh, scroll down to the commands at the end there you can see select in the select value options and uh, get select and select user one uh, cy dot select and select user one it will select the first options okay likewise or else you can directly select the value also there are two options one is with select okay this we will use get then select directly select with the value there are two options right uh, get and select just go to the page and what is the value is there as or no i want south america sc so sc i will use okay just run this okay i think it started running so here you can see south africa once it's done okay timing out expected to find the element continent but never found okay cool so let's see what happened oh i have to give a hash because it's a id it's a syntax error no issue now you just check okay it's it's selected on south africa south america the thing is like see automation test it's so speed actually that's a problem you are not able to see uh, once it's done no you can just uh, like scroll like this and see what and all it got clicked okay so as of now we have seen uh, radio button checkbox and drop down so this is again something like select okay you can use the same select id uh, id you can use and give the options or else for here maybe wait command right directly will give wait command let me add you one more cy dot select and directly send the value and let's see it should click on wait uh, comments on the next uh, select okay cy dot yes, child command must be chained after a parent uh, blah, blah 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 something like this oops it's like you're trying to call a child command before running a parent command okay so as per the syntax given here okay this is incorrect usage they are saying oh okay anyway we have tried uh, uh what normal stuff also maybe we have to pass dot get pass that uh, id of that next uh, select what is this selenium commands is the id okay cool i just pass the id with hash now just see what it happens something happened some syntax error okay cool i have given two dots that's why yeah i think you are able to see wait command got clicked so this is how you can use it you can send an option also or you can send a value also from the uh, options so here only values are there there is no options and uh, before uh, you can this also a select here you can find both value and options okay here also the all are like same you just have to try it yourself okay guys thanks for watching this video and uh, we can do uh, there is lot windows handling widget handling and interaction like there are a lot of stuff we can see in the coming videos thanks for watching and if you like the video please subscribe and don't forget to subscribe